Here we are in Homer, Alaska, halibut fishing capital of the world, on our Fish Sniffer 2011 Alaskan Adventure Trip. Cal Kellogg here. While in Alaska, we stayed at Captain Steve's Lodge on the Kenai Peninsula, about 30 miles north of Homer. There's the famous Homer Sand Spit, where all the tourist attractions and bars are, and where the boats go to dock. And there is the famous halibut water of the Cook Inlet. The number of halibut that inhabit these waters is absolutely incredible. Here's a closer look at Homer Harbor. Some of the boats featured on the TV show The Deadliest Catch dock here. The highlight of our trip was catching huge lingcod like this. But we caught lots of halibut and some salmon too. This is Mike reeling in a shaker size halibut. I didn't capture too many halibut being caught on film because I was too busy fishing myself. This is Captain Donovan. He's about to do the honors and release this fish to fight again another day. Cook Inlet is just full of halibut, large and small. And everyone that joined me on the trip had an outstanding time catching fish after fish. So we're out here in the Cook Inlet. We got limits of halibut in about an hour. How was it, guys? Great. Okay. Awesome. Where were you, where you fishing? Captain Steve. Captain Steve's the man. <laughs> All right. And I'm tired. Okay. Overall, we didn't get into a lot of salmon action during this year's trip. But on the last afternoon, we did get into a pretty good flurry of kings and silvers, and it was very exciting. King salmon aren't all that common in the Cook Inlet during the month of August, so the only one of us that had a king salmon sticker on the license was Barry. The limit on kings is one fish per day, and Captain Steve was determined to get Barry a king salmon. The kings and silvers were schooled together, so to get his king, Barry had to catch several silver salmon first. I guarantee he wasn't complaining. The Cook Inlet is home to big numbers of sea otters. We encountered this guy while we were trolling and he looked us over pretty good. He was pretty curious about the boat and it was a lot of fun just seeing him. When Barry hooked this big fish, we were pretty sure he had his king, but as things turned out, it was just a jumbo sized silver. Success at last. It took him a while, but Barry finally hooked the Chinook he'd been looking for. The fight went on for at least 10 minutes. The fish came near the boat several times only to run back down into deep water. It also jumped a couple times and uh, really kind of made all of our hearts stop. But uh, ultimately, Barry stuck with it and brought the fish to the net. And what a beauty it was. Tip in the sky. Steve uses light salmon gear, trolling rigged herring on mooching rods. So when you hook up, you're in for quite a fight. When using light gear, it's pretty satisfying when you bring a big fish like this to the net. Getting into hard fighting salmon was the perfect ending to a perfect trip. I'll be back at Captain Steve's Lodge in August 2012 getting my butt kicked by Big Fish. If you'd like to be part of that trip, give Captain Steve a call and he'll give you the details.